So the weakening of the global market. What do you think is going to happen next? In today's video, we're going to go over what could happen. Maybe a liquidity crisis, maybe not. Maybe a parabolic bull run. But we've got to look at the facts. The overall market sentiment is not great right now. So on the screen, you can see BTC, right? It's not looking great. You can see that. It's pretty clear. We've hit a level. We were actually looking pretty good last week. I was expecting, you know, we had the impulse correction thinking, yeah, sweet. We need a correction. We need to do things. Looking relatively bullish last week, so oh, start of the week, looking all right. And then zoom, boom. Why? The traditional markets took a big, heavy beating. So if we're going to look at Seeking Alpha, even today, as I record this, this video will go out about 6 p.m. UK time. So we're about six hours ahead. Um, oh, before that sort of thing, get the picture. The future is looking pretty bleak. Now, the big overall observation with this is the fact that on Friday, it was a heavy day, pretty disgusting day across the board of the financial markets. So far, it's not looking great neither. Usually it's green. If you have a big dump, you usually have a bit of a pullback, but we haven't had that. Now, bit of news, bit of information. Weakening global economy could trigger the next bull run. I don't really agree with this, I'll be honest with you. Why? Liquidity crisis, I want to talk about. Now, we've seen it in 2020. When the markets dump a lot, money has to be pulled elsewhere to cover certain situations or liquidations or all kinds of what may have in the markets. People overexpose. It always happens. Remember, the stock market has been on a mega bull run for about 10 years now. People get greedy. People want to get the gains and they will be buying into positions. Cryptocurrency is a very easy place to pull liquidity from. It's easy to borrow from. It's easy to take. There's no working day issues. You can get it on the same day, get it transferred and put it into the market. Within the normal markets, institutions, it takes at least three days to move your stock market around. Simple. To get a loan from an institution, it'll probably take a little bit of time versus what we would get in crypto. That's where I think the problems are. If, if we get a stock market crash, there's a high chance we will go with it, right? I don't think it will be as quick as that goes up down we go up it could trigger some momentum a quicker recovery however we will hit pain first it will go red first simple as that what is a liquidity crisis well in simple terms it is basically a lack of cash or easily convertible funds to cash or out of cash into cash into institutions whatever it may be quickly as I say, cryptocurrency is a very, very easy method to do this. We will become the bait. We will become the prey. It will be a problem. So increasing demand and decrease of supply, huge problem. People want to sell. There may not be enough to sell. Could be a problem. You've obviously got widespread mismatch among banks. What banks hold cash these days? Not many. They're always working for you. And then obviously the element of this psychological people's brains will be going mental now that's why i think personal opinion the news right now grayscale fancies an sec green light for a spot bt a spot um etf for btc right that's news that had to come out today for some weird reason why because the markets are crashing gotta get the sentiment up right another one is the obvious in their micro strategy acquires to hold you know, the strategy essentially to hold and buy BTC has been a tremendous success. Has it really? I don't know. Doubt it. Should have bought a bit earlier. But that's my personal thoughts, right? Now, the market. As you can see, we've had an impulse down on the weekly. We've pulled into a level and we've rejected. This is looking pretty precarious now, right? I'm thinking 33k retest could be happening if we do not hold this. If this week is pretty negative, pretty bad we will probably retest that or swoop at least in and around that area, see where liquidity may lie. But the more important thing that I'm more worried about is the likes of the dollar index. That is still parabolic, right? The fundamentals have to be respected here. Do not be doing any technical analysis on this. Just look at the news. News will tell you what's happening, usually. So you've got to be somewhat careful. Now, overall, as I say, the NASDAQ, We've formed for the first time in a very long time a very clear and obvious lower high on the higher time frames. That's the weekly time frame. The monthly looks absolutely horrendous. That is a horrible monthly candle, by the way. Horrible. In terms of history, it's pretty disgusting. If we're talking history right now, 
you know, this was a COVID crash. Yes, obviously we were much lower at that point, but it was still significant. If we're looking at overall kind of situations here, the market has collapsed 19%, which isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things versus obviously crypto, but in the stock market, that's significant to affect a lot of things. Now, when we're looking at BTC, for example, looking at the monthly, we've not been great since. There is a very obvious alignment between the traditional markets and stock markets because we're getting bigger, there's more influence there. The things that I worry about more than anything, the one thing that gets me sleepless nights is if the dominance of BTC does go up, if we do start to look at recorrecting back up to these sort of levels, these much higher levels where we're talking, we wouldn't even class that. What if we do go up to these levels again? Old coins will get absolutely obliterated. So we've got to be somewhat careful. Now, obviously, that is a long, long, long term play. If that is a bear market with a bloody good chance, we could be recorrecting up to these levels. In my honest opinion, not financial advice. If you know how the dominance works, you should. If you watch my channel, you can do this with the stable currencies as well. As you can see, this is starting to go up. More increased stable currencies. Now, someone commented on my video yesterday, uh, the other day, saying that this does not work. Really? The data is very clear and very obvious that when this goes up, the market is looking bad because stable currencies are increasing. Therefore, money is not flowing into altcoins or BTC. It is the exact terminology that you use for the BTC one to grow BTC or Ethereum or whatever individual altcoin you want to use. The dominance is a great lagging indicator to tell you where flow of money is going in and out of. If the dominance is strong, it would indicate that other things are weak. If the dominance is strong on the stable currencies, it would indicate money is not flowing into the altcoins for opportunity. That's a problem. So what do you think? Let me know. Let me know what you think. I think... The sentiment of the market is not good. I think people are a bit scared right now. Fear and greed currently 23 today. And overall, we've got to look at that bigger picture. You all know my stance. If you're in my Patreon, you'll know where I am with my stable currencies. I'm just sitting, chilling for now. I have money in the market. I have money in stables. Whatever happens, it's fine. But for me, when we look at the overall kind of market analysis trend, we have gone massively high. We are pulling back. How low can we go? This gives me vibes of 2018. I will do a video on that on Wednesday regarding that. So if you enjoy this video, leave a like and a subscription if you can, if you want to, you don't have to. But yeah, see you later.